Great threes, it is Miss Mzizi here. I hope that you are all doing well and taking good care of yourselves. Now, in today's lesson, we'll be learning about data handling. Now, what is data handling? Data handling is the process of gathering, recording, and presenting information in the form of graphs or charts. There are, now, there are different types of graphs that we can use to present information. We have picture graphs, we have a tally chart, we also have a bar graph and a pie chart. In today's lesson, the type of graph we'll be focusing on is tally charts. What is a tally chart? Firstly, a tally chart is also known as a frequency table. It is a chart that uses tally marks to help count an amount. How do the tally marks in a tally chart work? Now let's say you are sitting on your pavement counting the amount of red cars that pass by. So when the first red car passes by, you put your first tally mark. The second one passes by, you put your second tally mark. The third red car passes by, you put your third tally mark. Your fourth red car passes by, and you put your fourth tally mark. And the fifth red car passes by, and you put the fifth tally mark. But the fifth tally mark crosses over all the other tally marks. When you see a bunch of these, you can skip count in fives. Now remember, I said when you see a bunch of tally marks stacked up like this, you can skip count in fives. So let's see, how many tally marks are there? Let's count together. 5, 10, 15, 20. There are 20 tally marks. Let's take a look at the next one. How many tally marks are there? Let's count together. 5, 10, 15. There are 15 tally marks. And the next one. How many tally marks are there? Let's count together. 5, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 tally marks. Let's take a look at the following example. Our scenario reads... Miss Gandela is having a class party and she's bringing vanilla and chocolate ice cream for her class. Six learners chose vanilla and 14 learners chose chocolate ice cream. Can we put the following information into a tally table? Let's try. Right here at the bottom, we have an example of a tally table. On the left hand side, we have the different flavors of ice cream, which is vanilla and chocolate. On the right hand side we have the tally which will keep or show us the amount of learners who voted for each flavor of ice cream. Six learners voted for vanilla. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, remember the five crosses over, and six. And then 14 learners voted for chocolate ice cream. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen learners chose chocolate ice cream. This is what our chart looks like when you've taken the above information and put it into a tally chart. Let's take a look at the following tally chart. Now this tally chart shows us how learners voted for their favorite drink. On the left hand side, we have the different drinks, which are apple juice, Pepsi, Coke, and milk. On the right hand side, we have the votes, the amount of learners who voted for each drink. Let's see if we can answer the following questions. 
How many learners voted for apple juice? Let's count together. 5, 10, 15. 15 learners voted for apple juice. Our next question, how many learners voted for milk? Let's count together. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. 17 learners voted for milk. Our next question, which drink had the most votes? Now let's look at our tally chart and which drink do you think had the most votes? Coke had the most votes. And for our final question, how many more votes did the apple juice get than Pepsi? Now apple juice has 15 votes and Pepsi has 11 votes. So you will say 15 minus 11 which equals 4. Well, that's it from me today, grade 3s. Remember, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below, and I will respond to them. From me, Miss Mzizi, goodbye.